audience. Thank you. And now we have Dr. K. R. K. Reddy. And uh, I don't want to even uh, say the topic or the title. He is the best person to say everything. Doctor, all yours. Thank you. You want hand mic? No, not required. Okay. Yeah, it's only 10 minutes. Huh? Uh -huh. Good afternoon. So, in fact, actually, two comments I received today. I uh, heard from the panel, previous panel. Uh, one Mr. Abhishek actually mentioned about bio is good. So, bio is good only not every time. So, we require to have chemicals and also we require to have bio and we need to find the complementation between these two. So, so therefore, I think bio is also growing as one of the very important components of our agriculture systems. Uh, may I have the first slide, please? So anyway, morning, I think opening remarks to Dr. Sandeepa Kanitkar made my life easy. Though I have only uh, time given is 10 minutes, so I will try to complete the microbiomes, their role in agriculture. Next. Next. Mm. Mm. Okay. Your back mm. or your pointer. Okay. Pointer is not required. Okay. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Back. Okay. Pointer. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. So microbiomes, I think uh, we all heard in the morning from the first speaker. She elaborately discussed and uh, explained about how the microbes are very, very important. And off late, though the microbes are in use as biofertilizers, but the past four or five decades, but only the last one decade, it is surfaced as the microbiomes. So microbiomes is, not, is a, a novel word. It was discovered only a decade back. And the precision agriculture is also a, a novel concept what we are nowadays talking. So how to combine the microbiomes and the precision agriculture? That means the role of microbiomes in precision agriculture, the definition is given here. It's not actually conventional type of agriculture, utilizing science and technology tools to understand the base levels. So maybe when you use water and also the various kinds of the nutritional products, crop protection products, and apart from that soil amendments, when you use precisely based on the requirements and based on the data. So it's all the data driven, how these microbiomes also helps in the data driven sustainable agriculture. So now we are going to integrate the microbiomes in precision agriculture. And microbiomes, the, the original definition is the all kinds of microbes associated with a single individual or their gene products are called microbiome. That means if you look at a human being, so we are 90% microbial, only the 10% we are humans in terms of the number of cells. So out of these 90% microbes, there are many kinds, viruses, bacteria, fungi, and also the microscopic uh, uh, invertebrate organisms. Likewise, even plant also possess the various kinds of the microbes at every part. The microbes are present around the root system, the microbes are present on the surface, above the ground, on the leaves, and inside the vasculature. So collectively, all these microbes called as microbiome. If it is a human, human microbiome. If it is a plant, plant microbiome. If the plant is a crop, crop microbiome. So that's why you can also see insect microbiome or animal microbiome. So it is very clear that the microbes are very important, very essential. They play a great role in the organism's life. These organisms may be a plant or an animal or insect. So now the 
novel definition of the microbiome is the interaction between these microbes and the, the host animal or plant. So this is well defined. So now we are talking about the role of microbiomes. Yes, microbiomes involves. The microbiomes is nothing but set of microbes which are associated with the plant. So how these microbes? So today we know according to the classification, it may be a biostimulant, biofertilizer, or biopesticides. So here, now we are now talking about how to integrate all the three kinds of microbes. That's what integrated approach, or it is also called as microbiome approach. Now, within this microbiomes, now we are talking about synthetic biology. How do you construct, how do you assemble the microbes which possess the novel functional activities. So based on the studies, already Sandeepa said about the omics, omics plays great role. Now the meta, soil metagenomics or the metagenomics under uh, what you call the tool to understand the microbial diversity, the populations which involved good and bad of agriculture. So therefore, now in this case, this microbes helps, helps not only the plant, the, but also the planet in terms of managing the climatic conditions. We talk about the climate nowadays, everyone talks about, uh, we talk about carbon sequestrations, we talk about regenerative agriculture. Everywhere we cannot forget the role of the microbes or the microbiomes. And uh, harnessing the power of uh, microbiomes, yes, its power is imaginable, unimaginable such kind of a power exhibited by the microbes. We have, we have tested the power of COVID, it is also a microbe, it's a virus. We have, tested, we have tested the power of microbe, the same kind of a power, if it is pos positively exhibited, we can see the miracles in even agriculture, especially in soil regeneration, especially in soil, uh, improving the soil organic component, and also controlling the soil pathogens and controlling the soil uh, invertive braids. So especially why we are talking about the soil mains, so where this is a medium for the microbes to sustain, survive and exhibit their ability. So therefore, the use of microbes are very, very essential and these microbes we generally call them agriculturally important microbes, AIM. So that involves every activity of agriculture. So today I am dare to say, we used to talk about agrochemicals. Now to, we have, I, I don't say 100% uh, what you call alternatives, we can say the agrobiologicals era now. We are, Brazil is the best example where almost 40 to 50% of the farmers are using biologicals, maybe for seed treatment or as a soil amendments. Therefore, the microbes has great role to play in sustainable agriculture, especially it can be part of precision agriculture. And yes, these are the four or five very important, the broad areas where we can use the microbiomes. I am now talking about microbe, it's not individual microbe, it is a microbiome, a consortium of the microbes which has a multifunctional habits. So one is soil structure, and especially the microbes, they release a lot of organic acids, enzymes, and uh, the many metabolites, they helps in uh, the binding, especially uh, exopolysaccharides, that's one thing which can bind the particles and they retain the moisture and helps the plant, especially in the drought conditions. Like that, the microbes, they produce a lot of enzymes and also a lot of organic acids, involves in decomposition, and control some pathogens and also kill certain soil uh, pests and also growth, releases growth promoting substances. And then the nutrient recycling. Yes, there are a lot of statistics. Uh, even I think uh, uh, this morning, uh, I think Rahul also showed there is a lot of the fertilizer deposits are present in our soil, unused nutrients which are there in the soil like phosphatic for a lot of phosphorus is accumulated. Though the organic carbon is shrinking, we have tested a lot of soils across, it's all 
0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. Very rarely we see 1% organic carbon in the soils, but contrast we see a lot of chemical deposits, especially phosphorus and potash. So, and also some other elements are also present, but they are not available to the plant, but it is only possible through mining out through the microbial action. So, there the microbes involves in uh, definitely NU nutrient usant efficiency, apart from that acquisition of nutrients and bio fortifications. And plant growth promotion, it's a well known, it's all started from PGPRs, plant growth promoting rhizobacteria, then it's all gone uh, the very uh, different walks of agriculture where we are now talking of disease suppressions, insect control, and also the abiotic stress. So everyone stressed on the abiotic stress. Yes, these are, we can say, the microbes are the boon for alleviation or mitigation of salinity and drought stress. I will be showing two uh, slides later. So this is how we, this is actually the test conducted in Japan using our pico caps and where the petunias, where the microbes are used, you can see the kind of growth stimulation because of the microbes. And this is suppression, this is very classical examples of trichoderma, pseudomonads and bacillus. Now the consortiums, of course, unfortunately, India had to release the guidelines for the consortiums, but the future is only the consortiums, not a standalone microbial products. And bioremediation, so happy to see, show you here the pictures and proud to see this is only just yesterday only we received this from Tamil Nadu where you can see very difficult to operate this. Yes, where you can see the salt patches on the soil and a lot of salinity is there where the plants are almost dead. But these plants are recovered using the microbial consortium. I hope I want a big hand from all of you. In support of the microbes. So this is the way how the microbes can do miracles. <laughs> Logic or magic, both. Yeah. So then climate resilience, so now we are talking about they are the, the main, what you call, candidates which helps keep the climate intact, but unfortunately we are losing the microbial diversity because of several activities like monoculture and also the flooding and of course uh, the various other activities I do not want to mention, it's only because of the chemicals. Chemicals is also one part of where we are losing the very important microbial communities from the agricultural soils. And data driven decisions, this is now the IOT and everybody talks about precision agriculture. AI and ML, so artificial intelligence and also machine learning tools nowadays are all in practice now. So this science is growing and we are required to utilize the science to understand the base levels and also the levels which are uh, changing from time to time because of the climatic disturbances. So the data is very important, maybe related to the rainfall or maybe the temperature or maybe the what do you call pest incidents or the disease incidents and soil profiling and soil biological analysis using the soil metagenomics is now coming up in a big way and there are companies we are investing a lot on the profiling the soils in terms of soil biodiversity and based on that we can now come up with the prediction models based on the microbial diversity the microbial abundance today we can say that what kind of a disease you get and what is the kind of a nutrients available in the soil but the responsible respective microbial candidates are missing even soils. So these are the prediction models are coming up and especially in Europe and the USA people are using it. The test is costly but they the what you call agronomists and also the farmers are affordable to uh, buy and unfortunately here the smaller marginal farmers the test is costing $200 and we are now uh, I think maybe in couple of months so we will be in a position to uh, release, I mean, enter into this uh, soil, uh, soil uh, service. And so, yes, now this is actually the picture where it speaks about all the three areas of agriculture, the seed, soil, and the plant, and the three functional areas like 
nutrition, disease and insect pest management, and apart from the abiotic stress, all this can be partially or fully answered by the microbes associated with the plant from the rhizosphere, phyllosphere, and endosphere. Thank you so much. So this is a sunrise area, and it's a big opportunity for even the small entrepreneurs. They can enter into this. You can develop the localized solutions. So this scope is huge. And the government of India is now recently came up with so bio 3E economy, environment, and employment. So this is going to be definitely a boon for the what do you call the uh, maybe the new entrepreneurs or first generation entrepreneurs. That apart is yes, the government of India also now, the budget also, they have, I think, indicated around 10,000 small biological units across the country. So definitely some of the people from the audience may venture into the biological space and also the big companies, name any company now they are into biological space. So we are all waiting for this kind of a atmosphere for the last, past three decades. Thank you so much. Thank you, Doctor. I think, see, uh, something you see in some of the people is when they speak, they're so passionate about the subject, uh, not just about the subject, but the clarity on what is required and what is to be done. But I, I still, the picture is awesome. Beautiful. I mean, unbelievable. You know, uh, it's like Sanjeevani, the, uh, the dead one getting into the life. So, uh, thank you, Doctor, for this. Uh, and it was... Um, his idea that he wanted to speak on precision word in this conference, and I think this is really precise, more than precision, besides precision rather. So uh, I would like to kind of disturb Juan uh, to you. I know I'm bothering uh, between you and Mr. Pradeep ji. Please come and do honors to your dear friend. <laughs> come. 